Hey there, first grade, how's everybody doing today? And welcome back to another remote learning math lesson with Mr. Renzi. Today, we are gonna be learning about counting strategies. How we can count certain amounts of objects. But before we get started, we are going to practice skip counting by some numbers. So let's see what's up first. Let's practice counting by ones to 20. Here we go. Stay with Mr. Enzi so that we sound like a musical group. Zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. 17, 18, 19, 20. Awesome job. Now we're going to skip count by twos. So that means we're going to be saying every other number. We whisper a number, then we would say a number. Would go like this. One, two, four, six. Let's try and practice. Zero, two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen, twenty. Awesome job. And finally, we're going to practice skip counting by fives. Let's try it together. Zero, five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, thirty, thirty-five, forty, forty-five, fifty. Awesome job! So today in math, we are going to be doing grade one, lesson 1.4, counting strategies. And our counting strategies are going to be, sometimes we can count by ones, which we just practice. Sometimes we can count by twos, which we just practice. Sometimes we can put the counters in a line to help you count. Sometimes we can count by fives, which we just practice. Sometimes we can make tallies to help us keep track of how many we have. And sometimes we can make two groups and combine the groups. So today we are going to practice all different kinds of counting strategies. So I am now in my eTools found in our online Connect Ahead. And I'm going to be heading to our counters today because I'm going to want to put in some counters for us to count. So I'm going to drag in some counters. Now we need to count these counters. And we've learned that there's some strategies that we can use. We can count by ones. So I can just count every single counter. One two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven counters. So one strategy is to count by ones. Now I'm going to add some counters in here because another strategy is to count by twos. Well, let's see. This time when I count by twos, it might help me to draw a loop around them. Let's see. Two, four, six, eight, ten. This time I counted by twos. 
Now I have some more counters on here. And another one of my strategies is to count by fives. So sometimes I have a lot of counters and I want to count by five. So let's see. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. So I have two groups of five. Five plus five more. I can count by fives. Five, ten. So I can also count by fives sometimes if I have a lot of counters. Now I have another set of counters. This time I'm going to put my counters in a line to help me count. This is one of my favorite strategies. I'm going to take all of my counters and put them in a nice line. Once I do that, then I can count my counters. I like to touch every counter when I count it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen counters. So this strategy uses an extra step because we have to put everything in a nice line. But it makes it easier for us to count. I want to show you why. If my counters aren't in a line, if they're all mixed up, sometimes mathematicians make a little error. They'll go like this. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Woohoo! But I didn't get twenty the last time when I put them in a line. What do you think Mr. Renzi did? Well, the mistake that I made is that I counted some counters more than once because they weren't in a line, and I got confused. That's why I always like to take my counters and put them in a nice line to make it easier for me to count. Now, I'm going to show you another strategy a mathematician does. Some mathematicians like to even write the number for each counter. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, and finally thirteen. So that's another strategy that you can choose to do. All right, you're going to have an activity in Seesaw where you're going to have to count some counters. I wonder what strategy you are going to choose. All right, my mathematicians, go ahead and complete the Seesaw activity. I can't wait to see how well you did.